Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul and I'm going to show you this cute little project before I show you the haul from Frank. So let's dive in. Now, these right here are the new die from Sizzix. That is this one right here, which is a Geo Heart box die. There is the price for that. And here are the pieces. It's actually easy to make now that I know what I'm doing. So Frank gave me this to play with to show you guys what it looks like. And also too, this will be what's left at the studio so that, um, you know, when customers come in, they can see how this works. Okay, my amazing friend Bona had did FaceTime with me to show me and figure out how to do this. So here is with me knowing what I'm doing. How beautiful is this? I love it now. In the beginning, I was hating it. We were not having a great relationship. So stinking cute. Here is the inside of both. Now to do the inside of these, all you're doing is you're cutting out this die one more time, one more time, and then I'm not hand cutting this or tracing it. I'm just redoing the die. And it cuts all of it out except for like one part. And you just get the scissors and you cut it off. And that's all you have to do. Same with this one. It's the hardest on the top. You only have to cut one side. And then you do it again. I did it under here, but you can't tell because of all the flowers. So these flowers, beautiful flowers, were made by Tay, who is Cuddle Me Clay on Instagram. I will have her Instagram below if you would like to get your hands on any of her handmade flowers. I just purchased another one. Um, she did a spring release to die for. So this right here, this box is, I believe it's four. Here, let me see. Let's do it this way before I put the box on. Um, four and a half inches. At its at its widest okay and then so we'll put this on you know now the cool thing about this is that when you put this on if you do it you know you do it the correct way it'll slide on and you don't have to bend it to fit inside like this one right here I don't have to like bend it so like you and you can tell right here when I take it off when I open it Oops, I'm trying not to pull on the flowers. Do you see it's not buckling right here or buckling right here? Some type of box dies, they do that. We, Bone and I were talking about that on um, some dies. And um, in this one, like a glove, really easy, really pretty. And this is using one 10 pound cardstock for Michaels. Okay, now let me show you my first run that has a ton of errors. Okay, so. It's not as clean through here because I was using hot glue just to, this was a tester one anyways. And um, so you'll see like right here, I didn't cut it right. You'll see a lot of, it's not even there. That's some of Frank's paper. And where, and you see right here, it's like, it's like this because it's buckling because when I, and you see right here, perfect example. And the reason why is when I first made this, this was smaller and it was fitting inside this way as opposed to me doing it this way. So this was too small. So when I did it now, now that I figured it out with bonus help, I have I had to like force it in. But you see right here, it doesn't want to go in because I did this part too tight. So now I know what I did wrong and now I know how it's supposed to work. So this die is absolutely flipping cute. These hearts right here that you see, they're the new Tim Holtz dies that I also got from Frank. There are these ones right here and you need to get your hands on these because these are insane cute. There's 25 dies. Don't worry guys, 25 dies means you get these and they're easy and that's because you get one, two, three, four, five layers times five. So you can put them all through one swoop, get them all out and you have automatically 25 heart dies for layering. Love these heart dies. They are absolutely the stinking cutest and like I said, I got these from Frank and these are $19.99 for this die okay 
And this right here, this gold is also Tim Holtz. So Tim Holtz has his own right here, his metallic, and it's a heavyweight cardstock. And this right here has gold and silver. Let me see if I can open it right here. I just got it, so I haven't opened it up. I was using Frank's. <laughs> um, so you'll see right here, here's the silver, and then here's the gold. And I love it because it has that craft in the back. So I'm gonna show you something else that I ran with it. And this cuts the hearts like absolute butter and they're thick and it's heavy and it's just a really beautiful quality. So I did pick up this one. So it's $15.99. And they also have another one and it has these colors right here. So you see how pretty those are? They're like, I guess, gem colors. So you'll see it has like the pink, this gold, which is a shinier gold, this blue, this copper, rose gold, and then this really pretty green, purple, and then the champagne color. I don't have the cover on it right now because Frank gave me this one. So, and these ones are beautiful. So he has those, it's the same price. And also too, Tim Holtz, a new release is this one right here, which is, um, it's an embossing folder. It's $12.99, I already, I made a couple sample cards that I left at his studio and it was just following what his designers made. So it's not like it's my idea, but it was something quick and simple. And um, this right here is absolutely, it's a 3D embossing folder and it cuts like this. So this right here is, um, it's, I mean, you see the craft, I think it just, it just supports this type of heavy 3D. And Tim Holtz suggests you use this type of cardstock for these so that it doesn't cut through. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I got this one as well. I'm a sucker for 3D embossing folders, okay. And I got these chippies. These are the Minte chippies and these are angel wings. I absolutely love angel wings. They're absolutely beautiful. So I got that one. And did I show the price on that? I didn't. Oh, here we go. It's $4.99. So I got those. And I also got the Minte angel chipboard album absolutely gorgeous and this one is $8.49 and let me show you how this album looks so this one right here is just the top part that's like this and Frank and I were and I love it I love seeing the laser print like the burn marks from the laser cuts Ugh, I love it and Frank and I were just like oh my gosh yes cut this right here make it a gatefold absolutely that's in the fact that's what I'll do I'll probably make it to where I have rings here and it flips up this way. So it's only the top part. So, and I love that this right here is just regular square pieces. So it makes it super easy to cover everything. Absolutely, I love this. I'm glad it wasn't like a lot of intricate like this cause I was like, oh my gosh, that would have been tough. So I'll be making an album with this, okay. And then I did get the flowers. He has all the flowers now, guys, for the collections. It took a little while to get them. Now, I grabbed different collections. I can't tell you which ones they are, which ones they go to. If I think this is probably peach tea. I don't remember. They're all $5.99, but this, oh, it is peach tea. Oops, let's get the camera. There we go, peach tea. So this is the peach tea one, okay. And then this one right here is called Painted. Oops, come on camera, okay. So it says Painted. And then I think this was part of the, maybe the floral collection that came out by Prima. So I got that one. Um, this one is part of the Miel collection. And this flower pack I got. And then this one right here 
I normally don't get these flowers, but I couldn't help it. This is the indigo. So this is the one with all of the beautiful women on the paper. And I think, and these ones coordinated with these perfectly, but I think this is miel as well. Yeah, this is also miel. Okay. And these already have glitter on the edges. These I had to have, and this is part of the majestic. I only liked um, the flowers, so I grabbed them because they're bright jewel colors and they're absolutely beautiful. And this one right here. So I grabbed these. Love these flowers, so I had to have them. And I'm going to show you one more project using Doodlebug. Okay, this is using the Doodlebug um, Valentine's. And um, this is using Frank's brand new, um, these are his mini books that he creates that are, you know, by him, I should say. And I absolutely love how this came out. Lots of layers. I used stickles. I used, these are their enamels. I put stickles on the banners. Anywhere you see that has sparkle is because I did that. And um, some of them are still wet, so I'm trying not to smear them. But I just did a bunch of layers, and those are straws, heart straws. So all of these right here are just all straws at different angles, cut at different angles at the top as well. And these are lifted on three millimeter foam. This is lifted on foam. And this is using all of the different um, ephemeras from Chit Chat from their odds and ends and their they have a floral pack i also did a different type because these are magnetic but because um oh gosh so i have a latch because i liked the latch frank did that on his as far as um his parcel and i loved it so i got these which frank does sell as well and then i just put gems inside here and this is adhered directly onto here with e6000 so it's not, this comes with brads, but um, there was no way to do the brads and put it all the way through for it to stick. Not with this specific album at least. So E6000, which is fine. Now I'm gonna try to open this without messing the cover. Um, here is the inside, okay? I made it to where they coordinate with each other. All right, opening the right side. Okay, this is the back. I layered it. I did not paint. I left everything. It's natural craft style because the whole beauty and when Frank created this um, style mini book was that it would be easy for beginners and it'd be quick and fast because you can't add anything on these. You have no space for embellishments. So this right here to do the waterfalls on both sides, I used one full six by six paper pad. So... This is the waterfall, and it's cool because the waterfall's here. All you do is add the paper, and that's it. You may be able to put, like, um, on this side, not too much on here. You have to really just put your photos on here, and that's it. Here, I was going to see if I could put an envelope and see if it'll close because I have a latch. So I might still try that, but if not, it'll be perfect for a big photo. Okay, so you close that side. And on this side right here... Oops, I don't want it to lay down on there. It's the exact same. I did the same patterns on both sides as I did the right side. Everything coordinates. I did, because Doodlebug is very busy, I did not want to add different patterns all over the place. So I used the coordinating cardstock that goes with it. So you see like the polka dots, that's their coordinating paper to break up the busyness. And then I just pretty much did quarter inch all the way around. I did not do the paper for it to come all the way to the very end. Um, I went in a quarter of an inch on all my layers. And that's kind of how I did it, guys. So this is really super easy to make. I did this yesterday while I was at the studio. So you'll see right here. And then, gosh, I have stickles on both sides. <laughs> And then here is the back. But how fun is this? So he has these. He sold out of the actual binder part. And he will be 
um, ordering it next week. But just so you know, this was perfectly amazing and easy for anybody that wants to just learn right away and just whip something up and gift it with no intricate anything or, you know, if you're going to gift it to somebody who, um, you know, doesn't understand, you know, mini books, this is the perfect thing because the only busy part really is going to be the top, nothing but photos on the inside. So I will have the links below to everything. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And this guy is, is so cute. It's so cute. I love it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make more of these. So that is it. Have an amazing and super blessed remaining of your work week. And don't forget to use the discount code. Anything over $75, guys, is free shipping. So I'll see you later. Bye.